Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. In this video I'm going to show you three easy and somewhat cheap ways to slow down a fast eating dog. Slow feed bowls are a very common way to slow down a very fast eating dog, but I'm going to offer you some alternatives to slow down your pet. Let's get started with number one. You can get a Kong toy and fill it up with food. What makes it practical is that it doubles up as a food dish and a toy for your dog as well. The small crevices do a really good job at slowing a dog down when he or she eats. And because of its compact size, it's very practical to bring with you when you travel or go camping because it doesn't take up a lot of room. But what if you want something that's free? Let's move on to number two. Just take all your kibbles and sprinkle it on the floor. It's such a super and easy way to feed your dog as your dog will take the time to eat the individual pieces and will definitely help slow down your fast eater and is a great free alternative to bowls or you can kind of switch it up if you use a slow feed bowl all the time. You can sometimes do this to make it fun for your dog. Or in case you forgot one or you don't have a slow feed bowl, there it is. There is your emergency backup. What if you want to incorporate some mental stimulation into your feeding time? Well then, you'll like number three. So take an old towel or blanket and spread it out like this. Then take your kibble and sprinkle it inside. Then fold it over once. And this becomes a awesome mind challenging scent game. This is a really great way to give your dog uh, something fun to do, to preoccupy them, to mentally stimulate them, and to challenge them to use their sense of smell and get rewarded for it by finding all their individual food pieces. Now, I timed Mouse Pig and it took him 10 minutes to find all his food, so this is definitely the longest method in my opinion. Uh, to feed the dog. I would advise that you um, supervise this just to make sure the dog doesn't get stuck or caught or tries to eat the blanket because that is also a possibility. So always be safe, always supervise and try it out. I think it's a lot of fun and I think your doggy will like it. So thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as my two other channels creative pink unicorn and creative pet portraits if you already haven't and follow us on all our social media in the comments below let me know would you be try willing to try this with your pet and um do you think this was helpful i hope you have an awesome day and see you on monday